Hi and welcome to my channel 3D Printing Geek. My name is Tom. Today I want to talk to you about an um, idea how to stabilize uh, the print bed a little bit better. I came up with the idea when I had to use longer springs and screws after moving my stepper motors to the bottom um, and when the gantry moved down it uh, touched the motor couplers but I couldn't move the nozzle close to the bed anymore. Uh, therefore, I upgraded to 35mm long springs and uh, exchanged the screws as well. And uh, that worked fine, though uh, looking at the springs when tensioned, I recognized they bent out uh, a little bit. And uh, another thing I think is probably a problem when the bed moves faster and there's more mass, uh, because of the longer screws, it may introduce some kind of wobble. To solve both problems, I thought uh, some stabilization of the springs could help. Therefore, I designed uh, 3D spring guides, which can be printed. They enclose the springs, preventing them from bending outwards and also give a little bit more stability to the screws and let's see what I got up with. This is a Fusion 360 design I made. There are two parts fitting into each other and these will guide the springs in place. Here's a cut through the part, and you can see how it fits nicely. And in the bottom of the, the upper part, when the top of the upper part, there's a place to take up a nut so that the upper part can be fastened to the heat bed. This is how it looks if cut the other way. And now let's get into mounting all together and bring it back to the printer. Here are all the parts needed to do the upgrade. In the back, my uh, heat bed, which, which I already unmounted. Uh, in front of the heat bed, you see the black parts. Each uh, consists of two halves, uh, top and bottom part, which fit nicely into each other and will hold the spring. And uh, in front, you see the screws, the springs, heat insulating washers and small nuts which are needed to keep the screws and the top part in place. And now let's see how all is mounted.
you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, give me your comments down below and also tick the bell in the upper corner to get notified about upcoming videos.